Hello everyone. We went to the um, swap and shop up at the racetrack today. Uh, Kara and I went in and we met uh, Glenn and Nikki and then wandered around the thing for about an hour or so. I only found uh, two things but they're pretty cheap and uh, I dig them. First thing is this here, it's like a fuel gauge called the gasometer. Uh, remember, basically this is just a, um, it's really just a vacuum gauge. And uh, designed to kind of give you some idea, this one designed to give you some idea what kind of mileage you're getting based on how much vacuum you're pulling. Um, but I usually use it just as a, you know, as a brief diagnostic. Every bit as good of a, as a compression uh, test is also a vacuum test as far as I'm concerned because um, the opposite of compression is how much vacuum is the uh, car making and uh, they are related um, but you can't necessarily directly tie one to the other so it's 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 a good good initial test um, so anyway I like this I don't know exactly it doesn't have a year but it says speedometer service company and that is in Montclair, New Jersey, made in the USA. Um, I'm going to clean the thing up. I'll put some of my um, chrome polish on and probably just tidy that up a bit. Um, and who knows, yeah, I might uh, install this. I remember I did install one in the 74, in the blue 74 Valiant. So there is one in the Studebaker already that was always there. Um, I don't know, probably the 70s. Um, these things became really popular during the gas crisis, um, presumably to show people how to, uh, you know, put it in a good economic operation range. So anyway, yeah, we might uh, we might give this a go on the red car in, uh, in a sec. We'll see what happens. Second thing I bought. Proper hubcap Plymouth, and um, they had another Plymouth one there as well with the, uh, uh, well with the with the boat on it and the sails, uh, but it was all cracked up and all the chrome was shitty. So this was only five bucks, but I dig it. I'll probably mount this on the wall outside the uh, studio, where I've got some car parts building up. And I'll polish this up too. Maybe some of it will, you know, come back to a bit of life. Anyway, I like those. Five bucks. And yeah, just in behind us, um, May's rapidly upon us. And uh, I think this year is May, June, and September, assuming the weather holds. Um, I was thinking about doing a whole video about the arm drop experience. I mean, I've made a bunch of videos showing the cars coming in and out of there and made some racing videos and stuff like that but uh, yeah it'd be interesting to uh, I do converse with some of the principals of the event there sometimes so I should probably interview them one time and uh, do up something neat alright um, we'll be back in a bit I just want to show you my things and uh, talk soon bye interesting We may have bought a uh, gauge that's no longer. I tried sucking hard on that fucking little nipple there too, and uh, and I'm pretty good at that. And uh, did move did move a bit, and I'm sure I'm putting more than a couple of psi in there. And I saw it move a bit when we had it on there, but it should be fluctuating pretty crazy. Oh, we got a little bit. Maybe we're just not getting. Uh, all the suction we could. When I rev, it should go to pour, but uh, right now it should be, you know, somewhere. 
Well, I think she's Deckard's voice. I might take her A part and see uh, if there's anything obvious there. But anyway, that's uh, that's the end of the stuff I got at Swap Shop today. Good thing things were cheap. Talk soon. Bye.